How's it going YouTube? Welcome to the Crypto Gorilla. Today we're going to be talking about Thor. No, not that Thor. Not that Thor either. We are going to be talking about VChain Thor, a VChain application that you can download on iOS or on Android and use it to hold your VET coins in order to earn VThor tokens, which are the tokens that are used for transactions on the VChain blockchain. But in order to earn VThor, you need VET coins. And what better way to earn VET coins than in a free Bet giveaway. That's right. I am giving away 500 bet coins on July 31st. So be sure to stay until the end of the video so you can find out how to qualify. So would you kindly hit that subscribe button and let's jump right into the video. So here we are in the VeChain Thor wallet and you're probably gonna have to set a password first. I've already done that. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click create a wallet. Then you're gonna have to give your wallet a name. You're gonna have to set a password and you're gonna have to jot down the seed phrase. Do not take a screenshot. Do not save it on your computer. They strongly encourage you to write it down manually. That way if you're hacked, if somebody gets access to your email or your computer, they will not get access to your VeChain wallet as if they do, they can take Take away all your money and there's nothing anybody can do about it so once that's created you will land on the main dashboard this is where you can see all the coins and collectibles that you own and i say collectibles because there are some dApps on this platform and you could buy nfts now we won't be doing that today we'll take a quick look but this is going to be mainly about the wallet but just to look quickly so here we're on assets if we scroll to the side we're going to be on the discover page where you can discover different decentralized apps and there's going to be rewards and finally there's going to be the me section that's just your account where you can manage your wallets you can change the settings manage your contacts but what we want to do is put our vet coins on our wallet and earn vthor tokens so we're going to scroll back to assets we're going to click on vet and then here we can either transfer or receive and what we want to do is receive so I'm going to click on receive. You're going to get a little warning saying, hey, don't send anything else than vet to this wallet. And then they're going to present you with your QR code as well as your wallet address. So you're going to want to access whatever exchange or wallet you use and send your vet coins to this wallet. Now, I personally use Binance to buy my vet coins. So I won't show you how to buy and sell on Binance. If you want a tutorial on how to do that, I'm going to link it above. It's going to be a full tutorial on Binance A to Z, how to buy, sell, transfer. But here we would just go to our wallet, pretending that we own some. I would find bet, I would do withdraw. And then here you would enter the wallet that you wanna send your bet coins to. Then you would select the amount. I don't have any, so I don't have an amount to select. You need a minimum of 40 and there will be a 20 vet fee for sending it on the network so just keep that in mind you're going to be losing 20 vet just by sending it from your binance wallet to your vthor wallet so if you have a lot it's probably worth it but if you only have something like 100 vet it's really not worth sending it because you could earn vthor on binance so you're probably better off earning on binance we're going to compare the two and see which one is better either way but don't waste 20 vet sending it from binance to vthor unless you really don't like holding coins on binance and you want to hold it in your personal wallet. So back to the VeChain Thor app, I have 1000 VET or $84.30 American, and I have no other coin. But now that the VET is in my wallet, just by holding it, I don't have to stake it, I don't have to activate anything, just by holding it in my wallet, I will earn VThor, so the second one right here, VTho, for free. And I did a test for 24 hours, I held 1000 VET coins in my wallet, and I earned a total of 0.43 VTho tokens. So doing some quick math, if I held my 1000 VET coins in my VChain Thor wallet for 15 days, I would have earned 6.3 VTho. And if we compare that to the locked staking offered on Binance, for 15 days, so the same period, I was able to earn 17 and a half VTho for the same amount of VeChain, so 1,000 VET coins. And that is 2.8 times a better return on my investment. Now the caveat here is that I have to hold it on a centralized exchange and that my coins are locked for 15 days. So if something happened where I needed my money quick and I wanted to sell, I wouldn't be able to do that without suffering a penalty or potentially I would not be able to do that at all. But for me, 15 days is really not that long. So I much prefer staking on Binance than using the VeChain Thor wallet to earn my VThor tokens. In the long run, 2.8 times is really gonna add up. So there you have it. That is how you earn VThor on the VeChain Thor app by simply holding your VET coins in the wallet. Now, as I said, let's quickly take a look at the other tab that are available. So first in our assets, we can click collectibles and you can see that we have VeChain Thor node, Vims and V community awards. So if we scroll over to the discovery section, we're gonna see that there's a bunch of decentralized apps. Uh, we're gonna click this one for Vims 
and it's essentially a place where you can collect different NFTs, different characters, one place to keep all your Vims. There's also a bunch of different NFT galleries, NFT Gallery Pro, Ocean X NFT, real items. So if you're into NFTs, maybe this is for you. Personally, I'm not that big on it, so I don't really care about this whole part. And then there's different apps. There's finance, there's utilities. There's entertainment and then there is social, but the apps kind of just repeat the same ones. Like I'm seeing Vim in multiple sections. I'm seeing NFT in multiple sections. And then if we scroll to rewards, you can earn extra rewards, but the entry price is really expensive. You need 1 million vet just to qualify for the strength node. And you need 5 million vet to qualify for the thunder node. And you need 15 million vet to qualify for the Norn. Thor's hammer, I can't pronounce the word, for the Thor's hammer node. So that's it for today's tutorial on the VeChain wallet. If you wanna join the giveaway for the 500 vet coins, I will be giving away on July 31st. You have to do four different things. They're all gonna be in the description down below, but basically you have to subscribe to this channel, hit that subscribe button, you have to comment your Twitter handle on this video or any video where I mentioned the VeChain giveaway. The more videos you comment on, the more you increase your odds of winning, but only comment once per video. You have to follow me on Twitter and you have to retweet my pinned tweet. So good luck to everybody. And if you don't win, don't worry. I'm planning on doing a bunch of giveaways in the future. So just because you don't win this one doesn't mean you won't win one in the future. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. If you want to buy cryptocurrencies in Canada, be sure to use my referral links in the description down below and you will get free crypto when you make your first trade. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace.